love fashion. Fashion is a creative outlet. It's what people see when you like get up in the morning and you dress yourself and you're like, yes, you're confident. fight so much and argue but mm -hmm. then we're like best friends and yeah. we can like since we were little like we've always been together and like even if we don't have friends we know we can always count on each other so my name is rosemary and i'm 24 years old my name is christina and i'm 24 years old oh my god oh. so currently we're studying to get our masters in global fashion enterprise yes. same here <laughs> We're both studying the same thing. We yes. both love fashion. Yes. I'm always wearing color. Like this is a new piece I just added into my closet. It's like a, it's a dress, a shift dress. And um, it has so many flowers, it's so bright. <coughs> love it. I wear it with this and some wine stockings and a pair of Chelsea boots that's this color right here. Yeah, I have the same thing. And I actually paired mine differently, so I didn't pair with the sweater. I just wear it alone with um, camel boots. So yeah. <laughs> when she buys something, I'm like, oh my god, I love that. The next day, I go buy it. I'm <laughs> like, I want that same thing because we love it. So it's like, it just makes us happy. I will say that at a really young age, we um, like we really like we saw that we love fashion. Um, we would like get like paper and make our own little sketchbook and like draw. Um, um, like outfits, outfits and Copy the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love dealing with clothing and accessories and dressing people and like seeing how a clothes would fit on someone. Yesterday my brother sent us like different like um, images. He was like, so which one do you like? I'm like, oh, I like this one. And number one, number two, I like that red coat. So yeah, he always comes to us for, with, um, with advices and questions. I want to like Finally, he dressed nice. Like I actually asked him, like, "Oh, did, did this look good?" Just like, yeah. I can look presentable when I go outside. Like, <laughs> we he... thought here, right? <laughs> being sisters and being best friends and having the same interests makes our them easier because we really just like talk to each other. It's kind of difficult when you're growing up with it because at one point you don't understand what it is, but then you get to that stage and you're like, oh my god, I'm different from other people. The younger brother, Julius, who is also a Banos. They, they face a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. I love my children because I know they are different. So we have to support them with love. When they are younger, first of all, they love dressing, which they still grew up with. The passion of dressing, they still love it. A lot of challenges when he was going to high school, especially in the society that we live. Having abolition in school, yes, we were teased, yes. Well, I would say college was the turning point for us. It gave us so much more confidence, and like a whole other world. When I first met them on campus, one thing was for certain, they were very um, shy when it came to meeting new people. But um, I guess getting involved with opportunities and kind of pushing back what they may think is an obstacle for them, um, they kind of use that to be more outgoing and open. Our career goes will be to work in the corporate aspect of the fashion industry. So right now we are getting experience in retail and then moving up the ladder and then like our blog, hoping that would show more of like urbanism in the industry. To me, um, I feel like fashion is a creative outlet. It's what people see. It's how like people perceive you at first. People are not used to seeing someone who is albino 
and the way they see them, it's kind of like, why does this person look like that? Why is their hair so light? Why is her skin so light? I feel like it kind of pushes them forward. They don't use their albinoism as a setback. Like, okay, I may have this condition, but I have a talent that is very much needed. And if I'm not here, you know, I can't leave my mark on this earth. We're starting with our Instagram page and getting our followers and showing them a little bit of our like style and our like confidence and just embracing our beauty more every single day. Because at the end of the day, there's not one type of beauty. I like the hair. We want to show people that like when you dress, you can be confident. Wear whatever makes you feel good to conquer your day.